Balthazar has been looking for thousands of years for the next Merlin, essentially, traveling the world and not aging. And, and his quest is to find the next Merlin, and he will not start aging until he does. After all this time, the next Merlin finds him. Ten-year-old boy walks into this magical, mystical shop that Balthazar owns uh, through coincidence, chance, or is it? And the two find each other. Dave uh, is discovered to be that chosen special kid. Um, but that kid's a little bit clumsy, the kid has a few little issues, things don't go exactly right, and there's some problems. I think this is the best, most perfect role Nick has ever had. I think this is the perfect blend of character and actor. He was born for this part. This is the best fit I've ever seen. He is phenomenal. He brings to this character an unpredictability, a darkness, a wisdom, some edge, and you never feel totally like this guy is a pushover. He's, you never feel totally safe, and yet you know that he's on your side, and when he's on your side and looking after you, you're in good hands. Jay's kind of a brilliant actor and a brilliant guy. Um, original thinker, different, sense of humor like you cannot believe, so, so extraordinarily funny but only in Jay's way, not in another person's way. So again, you're getting an original idea, you're getting a new thought. And what I really loved about Jay, from a director's standpoint, is he got it. When you said something, he got it. He, he, he knows what you're going for, and goes and does it his way, but gives you what you need. When you go see this movie, you are going to see uh, a live dragon uh, attacking people in Chinatown. You are going to see uh, the Chrysler building steel eagles taking off and flying. You are going to see uh, energy and matter converting from one thing to the next. You are going to see fire ripping through the entire city of New York. You are going to see... Uh, plasma balls and electrical energy being manipulated and turned into huge deadly weapons. You are going to see uh, a really cute bulldog who's just adorable, like slobbery, sweet. It's better than all the magic. He's got an ugly face. Um, it's big. The movie's big. I really need Jerry when I make a movie. I need to know what he wants and what he feels because I trust his point of view more than my own in a lot of areas, and he feels the same way. He wants to know what I would do, not what he would do, um, and, and encourages me to go do that. Um, he, you know, for whatever a Jerry Bruckheimer film is, whatever that cliche is, he keeps saying to me, don't go do that, go make a John Turtletown movie. That's what he wants. Um, I love making a Jerry Bruckheimer movie. I want to elevate what I'm doing to that.